Oh yeah, what's up guys? It's Chris Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back in action today. We're in HitFilm Express and I'm going to show you how to add text to your video. This is a very, very cool technique. But before I go into that, the reason why we're using HitFilm Express, if you're new to this series, is here's the thing. It is a free video editor. It's free software and this software is industrial grade. And you guys, if you're either new to YouTube or you're new to video editing or even if you're thinking about getting started as a video editor and you're not sure where to get started and you think it's going to be hard to do, etc. I'm here to tell you it's not hard to do and we're going to teach you front to back. All right. As you You'll see here I've got some video of this little French Bulldog and he's getting rubbins and you'll see here that I've added in this text okay so let me just show you how to do this we're not going to animate the text or do any of that fancy stuff we'll save that for a future video but just adding in text is very simple all right so I'm going to remove all this I'm just going to left click and remove it and we're going to start from scratch so you'll see exactly how it is from the beginning okay fresh installation here I'm going to left click on my internet or pardon me my Windows Explorer and I'm going to select that video. I'm going to left click on it, drag it, drop it into the media panel, just like that. Now I'm going to move my playhead to the beginning, just in case. I'm going to left click on the old pupper dog and I'm going to drag and drop it onto the timeline. I'm going to drag and drop it onto video track one. Oops, let's try again, Curtis. Let's see if you can do this. All right, there she goes. Video track one. So we're going to be going and using video track two for the text, but let's just take a look at what we got here. So I'm going to hit space bar to preview. And yes, there we go. We've got our video. We've loaded it in. We are on our way. The next step is you want to make sure that you select the track. So here I've selected the video track here in video track one. I've selected the video. And then I'm going to go up here to the viewer. You might be on export if, you're, if you've exported in the past, but just click on viewer. And then next, click on this little text tool. I know it looks simple, but a lot of people just don't see it or they're in the wrong screen and they, and they miss it. So left click on the text tool. And now I'm just going to text, I'm just going to click, pardon me, anywhere on the video that I want my text. I'm going to left click right here. And when I do that, I get the little blinky cursor and I'm going to type in Kingston. And it is kind of good, but it's a little bit too big or it's a little bit too far off. So I'm going to go back to the selection tool and then I'm just going to move it. So I'm going to make sure that it's selected and then I'm going to move it to something like that. Okay, cool. Now I've got the text starting right at the beginning. But if I wanted to say start the text at like, I don't know, the one second mark, I can just go ahead and when I get the green parenthesis there, I'm just going to pull that and drag it. And then you're going to see here that I've got nothing. It is the doggy and then the text pops in and then the text pops out. You can go ahead and increase and decrease the where the text starts and stops and the duration of it or the length of it just by moving this along in the, well, not that one, pardon me, pardon me, moving this along in the timeline like that. Or you can just pull them in like that. So you can just do basic little edits like this. Okay, I want it for this amount of time. So this is how you work with text. However, there's a very good chance that the text is very is either the wrong color or it's the wrong size, wrong font. In fact, a 99.9% .9 chance that that's the case. Making sure that you're selected on text like I am here, I'm going to go over to the left side here and you're going to most likely default with media. What you want to do is you want to go over here to the text window there's a chance that if you've started it out like this you may not actually see the text um, window so if that's the case just make sure that you can see it and then presto you'll open this up and this is what you're going to see now for me it defaults to Arial and it defaults normally to 48 points but I've got it reset so I'm going to select a new font so let's say that I'm a big fan of what do you guys like let's go with I don't know, do you guys like uh, Impact? Let's go with Impact, that sounds pretty wild. Okay, Impact. We're going with Impact, yes, make an Impact, Curtis. <clears throat> cool, so you see how we can go ahead and change the font. We can also change it if there was like bold and italic, it would show up here. And this is the most important one, you can go ahead and adjust the size. So if I want this to be, I don't know, something like that, 201 pixels, great. I'll move it over and you'll see here that I'm just slowly making adjustments. And this is how you add text, manipulate text, adjust it. Uh, I can adjust the color. This is also very, very important. Right now I've got it set to white. But if I wanted it to be blue for some bloody reason, I would just select blue. And then I would hit OK. And it's blue. All right. You see where this is going? The last couple other things I will show you is you can add a little bit of fancy stuff to your text. If you left click on Add Outline, for example, it allows you to adjust the size of the outline. So it's kind of like a 
outside stroke and you can adjust the color so if I wanted this to be blue and and friggin yellow I don't know I left click on OK and there you go we've got Kingston and blue and yellow and then you can of course drag this and increase the size and do all sorts of really neat things just using these options again you guys can go in there and take a look around underfill overfill etc etc um, and making adjustments to the leading and the kerning and the track or the height and all that stuff but that is how you add text adjust it manipulate it change the colors change the font change the duration change how where it starts where it stops all of that in just a couple minutes guys thanks for watching this tutorial i got a ton more stuff coming up stay tuned be back soon